Nothing's changing in these talks. Nothing's changing? No. I, I mean, I, I, I talked to Bob Lighthouser. I mean, he, they're working hard to get something done, but they're not, think about it, they're not going to stop stealing technology. That's, an, that's a non-starter. They, you know, they're, they're not going to open up like the WTO requires. I mean, just if you're doing just trade, they're not going to agree to that stuff. So how can you get a deal done? Then on top of that, I mean, they're selling fentanyl in the country. They won't deal with that. Okay, what about fentanyl? Well, how about, how about if that just became a, a, sing, a single issue? I would actually think that would be a very political popu politically popular approach. To deal with what? Just, just nail the fentanyl issue. Oh, I think, yeah, that would be great. They, China but you think not, they won't do it? No. I mean, they, look, they couldn't even, they agreed to buy soybeans in, what, uh, January and couldn't even do that. There's nothing they do they comply with. Okay. They're not complying with Hong Kong, what but, they agreed but there. Let's go back. And we talked about this um, maybe the last time I saw you. I said, if, if they're unwilling to do it, then what do we have to do? What do we have to change about how we're approaching this? I think, I think. clearly it's not working. Well, the only leverage we have is the tariffs, right? That's it. Now, I, I think we ought to spend all of our time thinking about how do we buy American products, stop buying Chinese products. That will have the biggest impact on their economy. That's the only thing that will force them to change what they're doing. They, they don't feel the pressure yet to change. Stop I mean, they, they're, buying they're Chinese out. products. I mean, they're, they're, absolutely, stop. Just stop buying their products. Buy American products. Build American jobs. Think about what they're doing with their military. Their, their goal is, is to defeat us. I mean, that's their goal. We have, to, we have to come to our senses. We have to be clear-eyed about this. But what do you make of the, the argument over the last 20 or 30 years that the American consumer has been a beneficiary of cheaper and lower prices for all sorts of goods? Absolutely. And are you willing effectively to raise prices on the American consumer to win this war? There's other countries to do business with. Um, there's other countries that are not out trying to annihilate us. I mean, so let's focus on doing business with those countries. You really that, believe they're trying to annihilate us? I mean, that's absolutely. strong language. They, they, their goal is to dominate the world. That's their, state, that's their stated goal, isn't to dominate the world. Well, here's the here's difference. I mean, isn't we, that our we, goal we, in no, entering these China so trade talks? Here, here, no, ours, we look at things as a win-win. We want somebody else to do well. China's view is for them to do well, we have to do badly. But look, good business people say it's got to be a win-win. You don't get a deal done unless it's a win-win. That's not China's attitude. But, but do we want Brazil to do well? Sure, we'd like to Brazil to do well. We want Israel to do well. We want Europe to do well.